Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a 3D video player in Godot 4. I highly recommend checking out my video player tutorial as I go into more detail on how to actually use that node. However, to quickly recap, please install the VLC media player from the Microsoft Store, and you should be able to find online versions for Mac and Linux users. In there, go over to Media, Convert and Save, press Add to add your MP4 file, head over to your Godot project, right click, open in File Manager, go ahead and copy the path where you want to save your video to, back in VLC, Select Convert and Save. Put your path into your destination file. Make sure to rename the .mp4 to .ogg and press Save and press Start. And now in your video folder, you will have your OGG file. Now for the screen itself, let's go ahead and create a new Mesh Instance 3D. Select Plain Mesh. Go ahead and rotate it about 90 degrees. Put it up against the wall or wherever your TV object is. Now in transform, make sure the link is off. We can go ahead and scale it to about 1.7 on the Z axis. This will be a right around a 16 by nine aspect ratio. We can go rename this to TV or screen. Now create a sub viewport, create a sub viewport container, and inside that create a video stream player. In that video stream player, select stream, new video stream, you will need to reference your video file. So right click, press copy path, paste that path in, enter, go ahead and select autoplay, head over to your sub viewport. We will need to change this size X and Y to the resolution of your video. Mine is 720p, so 1280 by 720. Now back over to your TV, head over to surface material override, create a new standard material. Scroll down to resource, select local to scene. This is because the viewport texture needs to be local to the scene. And now head over to your albedo, select texture, new viewport texture. We will then select our sub viewport. And that's it. If we go and press play now, you'll see we have our video playing with audio. Now, if you would like your screen to glow like a real TV, head over to your emission in your material, click enabled. Then in your texture, select new viewport texture, and we will select the same sub viewport that we have in our albedo. And you can go ahead and mess around with your slider. I'll go with five. In your world environment, I have glow enabled. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my directional light so that way we can have like a cool nighttime scene. And if we go and press play, you'll see we have a cool dynamic glowing effect. And if you would like your video to loop, go to create a script on your video stream player, connect finished to it. In here, we will simply run play again. You can even make your video play in the editor by going to the same script, enter one line on the top line, at tool, and now in function ready, we will run the play function. Now you have to close and reload your scene. And now in your scene, the video will automatically play. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.